Well, and they say, Mel, that for this year, and you're picking for 10 years, that maybe if you're selecting Johnson or Rogers for year one, Johnson might be the more accomplished. He also, going across the middle, averaged 20 yards a catch. That's the thing. I think you look at that 21-yard average per catch, and you look at the toughness that Andre Johnson brings to your offense. He's got strong hands. He'll come across in traffic. He's 6'2", 230 pounds. That's amazing size with that 4'3", speed. Not many players at the wide receiver position come along with the kind of physical prowess he brings to your offense. A little more consistency. Route running could be improved a bit. But hey, when you look at Andre there, Johnson, don't think he was a one-year wonder. This kid in the Rose Bowl, the national championship game, the end of his sophomore year, had a spectacular game against Nebraska. Seven catches, 199 yards. Shared MVP honors in that game with Ken Dorsey. Obviously shared the spotlight at Miami with Jeremy Shockey in 2001. They had Kellen Winslow Jr. this past year, Willis McGay but this kid still was a major factor in every game. And he's only going to get better. You haven't seen the best of Andre Johnson yet. Once he gets a little bit more consistency, a little more polish, I'll tell you what, the sky's the limit as it is with Charles Rogers. Well, it really is. These, these guys represent the new type of receiver now. These are big, fast guys that can really run. They can go down the field and make plays. They can cross the middle. And what it shows you is that for the first time, two receivers in the first three picks, the quarterback means a lot. The receivers make a lot. And the offenses mean a lot. And that's kind of the new NFL.